Hello, we are Day of Destruction TV. Today we are here with a young woman uh, out of Germany. The, her name is Jessie Garbert, uh, also well known as the Alpha Female. And uh, yes, she is the best uh, German fighter in wrestling. And uh, Jessie, you did already live and train and fight in Japan for three years. And now you're back. Nice to have you here. Thank you very much and welcome. Yes, um, the wrestling scene grow harder, the, the, the fights did change. How did it come? Um, yeah, the, the fight did change. It's more competition at the moment because there's more and more fighters and there's more and more promotions. Um, all over the world we have a lot of female wrestlers also. Like when I started like 15 years ago, it was there was barely a woman. Like we always fought the same people, you know. But the last five years, a lot of girls came up and the competition is so much harder. Back in the days, it was enough if you do like one body slam, you know, or do like a big clothesline and one, two, three, that was a finish. But these days, you have to do so much more kicks in the face, kicks in the back, jump from the top rope and until the finish, you know. So it is a lot harder. The competition is so, more, so much higher than back in the days. But now you are training here in the in the CM store in Hamburg, uh, to the, together with the team there of the Destruction Fighters and also with the fighters here of the out of the CM store. Um, where's the difference in the training of wrestling and here with uh, close combat? Yeah, um, it is both a really challenging sport. I mean, it's both really physical um, and wrestling. You have to do a lot of rolls, forward rolls, backward rolls. Um, you have to do a lot of falling on your back, falling on your face, because all these things are basics. For example, if you get hit in the head and you're feeling dizzy, you still need to protect yourself. So therefore, in wrestling, we do a lot of, you know, it, it is cardio, it's good for stamina and everything, but the fighting is different. There you have to do, for example, a hundred of forward rolls, while here in Seaworm Store or in MMA train, you have to do like a hundred uh, jabs, you know, like boxing and stuff and kicks um, both is really challenging and I do believe that when there's an MMA fighter or a boxer coming to wrestling training he will have a hard time and the same with a wrestler coming to you know like boxing or MMA he has a hard time too so I wouldn't say one sport or the other is more easy than the other it's both really challenging how is the training with Ralf Stege? Yeah, um, what can I say? It's really tough. <laughs> He's one of the best. And I, I knew an announcer, like a ring announcer from back in the days from the pro wrestling scene. And he's now an MMA announcer or kickboxing announcer. And he said, hey, Jazzy, you're doing MMA now. Um, and you're living in Hamburg, so you should really go to Ralph Stege to the CM store. And of course, I went here and then I told all my friends I'm training with him now. And they said, oh, he's the best. And his training is very hard. He's like really old school. That means if you have like a little pain here or a little pain there, or you want to find an excuse not to train so hard, there is no excuse. He say you have to give your best. And if you don't give your best, you know, if you have like a bad day, he's getting so angry and you don't want him to be angry. But on the other side, if you do something really well and you train really hard, he gives you, you know, your credit for it. And I do believe that I need a trainer like that because I don't think any other way I would be successful. So I'm really happy that he's like old school, that he's so hard. Of course, sometimes I wish it was more easy, but no one ever got success if it was easy. And there's the, the saying, if it, would e if it would be easy, everyone can do it. So definitely, I guess this is the right way. Yes, you did already uh, one MMA fight. Uh, you did win this uh, this one, yeah. Um, how is it going on with you and the MMA sports? Um, you know, when I was in Japan, I wrestled there uh, for stardom in, in Japan, and the training, the wrestling training, is, was really hard. The girls kicked me all the time in the face, and I was not allowed to protect myself. And we're thinking, man, if if this is already so hard, you know, and I'm bleeding all the time, I lost my teeth and I lost, you know, I got like punched in the, in the bag and I felt 
I, my, my, my arms were so numb. So I thought, man, if it's like that, I can do MMA. So I went to MMA school there in Japan and I really loved it and it was amazing. And then I thought, I can be an MMA fighter. Of course, the idea was more strong than the actually way to go there. But then I trained like three years and I went to training and I came back here to Germany and I started professional training for six weeks and then I had this fight. And I have to say the fight, of course, was really hard. Like my trainer, they say it will be easy, but it wasn't easy at all. And I cannot recommend stepping in the octagon. <laughs> um, but I still want to continue doing this because first of all, you know, I have a team and I don't want to let them down. And I want to see how far I can go with this career. And I'm at the moment on the ranking list number six. And for me, that's not enough. I want to be number one and I will go and do and fight whoever it takes to be number one. So uh, that sounds that there are some girls you really would like to fight in the MMA sports. Yeah, well, on, on, the, on the list, for example, there's Gabby Garcia. Maybe people know her. Um, she's number one. Uh, she has, I think, three or four fights already won in MMA in Japan. And yeah, why not? Like, if she dares, <laughs> I'm ready. I want to fight her. And of course, you see, it's always a big dream. But to be honest, there our our weight class is not there. Like, there's... Chris Cyborg, for example, she's fighting since a few years now that UFC, um, you know, lighten up the division and, and bringing big girls in it. But I know, you know, like I just started this MMA game and I just started training and I know, of course, I'm not that good like a Chris Cyborg, for example, and it would be suicide if I face her. Even I know that she have an eye on me, she's following me on Twitter and, you know, she posted my picture on her social media. Um, it, this world is really scary, but I know there's a lot of supporters and I think if you train hard, if you have a big heart and if you have a tiny little bit of talent that you can bring it far in this, you know, in this MMA game. <laughs> so for sure you, you have a big heart, yeah? So you can do it. Yes, where can your fans follow you? Yeah, you can follow me on my Facebook, Alpha Female. Um, then you can find me on my website, Alpha Female DE. And I'm on Twitter, Alpha Female One, because Alpha Female was already taken. <laughs> um, and on Instagram, German Wrestling. And that would be great if you follow me and if you follow my way and if you support me, when, whatever or however. I would be really happy about that. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Alpha. How to say? Yeah, all the best for the near and for future. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So we are Day of Destruction TV today with Jesse Gaber, the German best, uh, Europe's best uh, wrestling fighter, alpha female. Yes. Stay tuned. Bye. <laughs>